everyone! Rox here and today on Rox Cooking Journal, let's make chocolate cashew margarine. This cake is made with layers of nutty marang, chocolate ganache, and cashew praline buttercream. Make sure na taposin niyo yung video kasi isi-share ko sa inyo kung anong pwedeng gawin just in case na masobrahan kayo sa pagbe-blend ng cashew nuts. Which happened to me during my first try of making this cake. Now let's get started! First, gawin natin yung pastry cream. Lagay natin yung 6 egg yolks sa mixing bowl and 5 tablespoons of sugar. Using whisk or electric hand mixer, i-whip natin sa high speed until thick and light yellow in color. Then, whisk in 4 teaspoons of cornstarch. Scrape natin yung bowl as needed to make sure na mahalo lahat. In a saucepan, add one and a half cups of milk and bring that to a simmer over medium heat. Kapag napansin mo na yung maliliit na bubbles, i-turn off na natin yung heat. Now, i-whisk natin yung egg mixture on medium speed and slowly add one third of the hot milk. Then, ihalo natin yung egg mixture habang nag-whisk sa natirang hot milk. Ibalik natin yung saucepan over medium heat at pakuloan natin while stirring constantly. Once at a boil, continue cooking for about 1 to 2 minutes. Alisin na natin sa apoy. Tigyan natin yun ng 4 tablespoons of cold butter and 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract. I-whip natin to until well combined. Palamigin lang natin saglit. Now, i-transfer natin yung pastry cream sa mixing bowl at takpan ng plastic. Lightly press natin yung plastic para hindi magkaskin yung ibabaw niya. I-chill natin sa fridge until ready to use. Next, let's make our praline powder. Line your sheet pan with parchment paper and set it aside. Then add half a cup of sugar in your saucepan. Tutunawin natin to hanggang magkaramelize yung sugar over medium-high heat. Kapag natutunaw na yung outer part niya, iswear mo yung pan para magpantay yung luto niya. Once all the sugar have melted and turned to dark amber in color, i-turn off na natin yung heat. Ihalo na natin yung half a cup of toasted cashew nuts. Hanggang makot lahat ng caramel. I-boost natin at spread sa parchment paper lined sheet pan. Kapag lumamig na yan, magiging cashew brittle or praline siya. Madali na rin siyang alisin sa parchment paper. Pipira-pirasuhin natin to. Kunin natin yung blender and turn this into a fine powder. Transfer natin yung cashew praline powder sa airtight container. Even lang natin yan sa room temperature at gamitin natin yan mamaya. Susunod natin gawin yung marang. Mag-drawing muna tayo ng circle sa parchment paper. Gagamitin ko yung 7-inch round cake pan pang pattern. For this recipe, kailangan kong gumawa ng 4 circles. Kunin natin yung blender at i-grind yung toasted cashew nuts into fine powder. Iset natin sa pulse or lowest speed. Yung blender ko kasi walang settings kaya kailangan kong bantayan para hindi siya maging paste. Tama na sa akin to. Ilipat natin sa container. Lalagyan natin yan ng powdered sugar at cornstarch. I-mix natin until well combined. 
Iset aside muna natin yan. Sa isang mixing bowl, pagsamahin natin yung 6 egg whites and half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Whisk this in medium speed until frothy. Then gradually add 5 tablespoons of sugar. Kapag naihalo na lahat ng sugar, increase natin sa medium high speed at i-whip natin until stiff peaks are formed. Gently fold in your powdered cashew mixture into the meringue mixture in two batches. Also add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ililipat ko lang siya sa pastry bag. Ilagay na natin yung parchment paper na nakataob yung pen marks. Pahiran natin ng konting marang so it stays in place. Squeeze natin yung pastry bag simula sa gitna, then swirl para mapuno yung circle natin. Pantayin natin yung ibabaw gamit yung offset spatula. We will bake this in a preheated oven at 120 degrees Celsius for around 2 hours or until lightly browned and firm to the touch. Gagawa na tayo ng chocolate ganache habang nasa oven pa yung marang. Ilagay natin yung half a cup of dark chocolate chips sa isang small heat safe mixing bowl. Then add heavy cream over your chocolate. Mainit po yung cream. Pwede nyong painitan yung heavy cream sa microwave or simmer sa stove. Takpan natin yung bowl and let that rest for 5 minutes. By this time malambot na yung chocolate. Haluin lang natin hanggang matunaw lahat at magblend sa cream. We will let this cool down first hanggang maging thick and spreadable. Na-chill na yung pastry cream, kaya gawin na natin yung diplomat cream. It's just pastry cream folded in some whipped cream. Kailangan lang natin ng 3 4 cup of cold heavy cream and 1 8 cup of powdered sugar. I-whip natin yan on medium high speed until silky and stiff. Kunin na natin sa fridge yung pastry cream. Alisin natin yung plastic wrap. It's normal na magiging jelly-like consistency siya kapag na-chilled. Kailangan lang natin i-whisk para maging smooth at spreadable ulit. Tapos i-fold na natin gently sa whipped cream in three additions. Ahatid natin to into half. Yung kalahati ng diplomat cream para sa frosting. Ichichill muna natin yan. Na magfold na tayo gently ng cashew praline powder dito. Gagamitin naman natin to para sa cake filling. Nasa room temperature na yung meringue wafers. Madali na siyang matatanggal sa parchment paper. Ayan, lightly browned and crisp. Finally, ready na tayo mag-assemble ng cake. I have here my 8-inch cake board. Pahira natin yan ng konting frosting. Panglue natin yan sa cake. Ilagay natin yung first meringue wafer sa gitna ng cake board. At lagyan natin ng chocolate ganache ibabaw. I'm using about a quarter of this kasi apat yung meringue wafers natin. Spread natin evenly. Tapos, i-chill natin sa fridge for 5 to 10 minutes. I-cover na natin with one-third of the praline cream at spread natin evenly sa ibabaw. Kunin natin yung second meringue wafer at ulitin lang natin yung process. Mag-spread ng one-four chocolate ganache. I-chill natin ng 10 minutes. Then, cover with one-third praline cream. Ganun din sa third meringue wafer. Add 1 for chocolate ganache, chill for 10 minutes, then spread the remaining praline cream. Para sa fourth and last meringue wafer, 
spread natin evenly yung remaining one for chocolate ganache. Balik ulit natin sa ref ng 10 minutes para mag-set yung chocolate. Lagyan na natin ng frosting yung ibabaw. Pati yung gilid ng cake with the diplomat cream. I'm using my offset spatula to smoothen out the surface and the sides of the cake. Kapag satisfied ka na sa frosting, ilagay na natin sa ref for 15 minutes para mag-firm yung frosting. Mag-toss tayo ng chocolate sprinkles sa gilid ng cake. Mag-garnish din tayo ng coarsely chopped toasted cashew nuts sa ibabaw at dark chocolate chips sa center ng cake. Bago natin slice yan, it's best to chill the cake in the fridge overnight para mag-firm up yung layers and frosting ng cake. Pero di na ako makapag-antay kaya isi-shield ko na lang ng 2 to 3 hours. So here's our chocolate cashew marjolaine. Look at the layering, yung crunchy cashew meringue wafers, dark chocolate ganache, and cashew praline cream filling. Plus the garnish and chocolate chips and sprinkles, and the toasted cashew nuts. Wow, I'm so proud of myself na nakagawa ako ng ganito kaganda at kasarap na cake. Kaya gumawa na rin kayo nito. At ito para hindi na kayo matakot mag-try. I-share ko rin to sa inyo. So, nung first time kong gumawa ng cake recipe na to, ito yung ginawa ko. Naglagay ako ng toasted cashew nuts, cornstarch, and powdered sugar. Then, nag-grind ako sa bullet blender. Wala kasing speed setting yan. Eh, hindi ko kasi nabantay ang maigi. Ayun, naging paste siya. Yung parang cashew butter. Kailangan din talaga yung keep an eye sa pagbe-blend kasi nga walang speed settings yung gamit ko. Pero wait ha, may pag-asa pa yan. Pwede pang gamitin yan para hindi masayang. Ginawa ko siyang cashew balls, tapos grenade ko lang sa cheese grater. Finold in ko rin sa merang in batches. Then, pinalo ko lang din yung next process. At naging crisp merang pa din naman siya, gaya nito. Sana nakatulong ng konti sa inyo yung chenier ko in any way. Thanks for watching and see you in my next cooking journal!